2012 uh, marks the 80th anniversary of Open Submission exhibitions at the Whitechapel Gallery. During that 80 year period, the show has gone through various different manifestations and incarnations. Um, and in the 1970s, it really moved towards a much more um, professionalised mode of practice with a selection panel for the first time made up of Nicholas Sorota and Jenny Lomax, who were both working at the Whitechapel at that time. For this year's show, because it marked the 80th anniversary, we wanted to really raise the scope and the ambition of the show. Uh, the Whitechapel very definitely still has a very strong basis in the East End of London um, and talks to the multiple communities that, that live, live and work here. But we also wanted to reflect the fact that the Whitechapel speaks to the whole of London, speaks nationally and internationally. So this year we made the decision to open the open submission show up to all artists aged 26 or over living and working in the whole of London. So you have Lee Clark's plaster casts of the insides of the latex masks that are normally uh, worn during political demonstrations. Lee is very interested in the kind of power and, of protest and the part that humour and comedy plays within that. Another interesting work that has a more um, political aspect is Thomas Ball's series of photographs that chart the destructive effect that tar sand oil extraction is having on the both communities and the landscape. Sculpture is represented, and we're including works by Alice Channer and Carolina Chantre, but also photographer Nikolai Ustchuk, who is looking at the sculptural potential of photography um, as a form. We have um, Heather Phillipson's video work, uh, A is to D, what E is to H, um, downstairs in the text and spoken word section, which is a wonderful um, collage of visual imagery and spoken word. We've got the Arnaud Desjardins live printing press in the space, which will be producing his publication business as usual throughout the show. There's a series of performances happening uh, during, during the show, so it's not just in the gallery space. There's other works around the building, like John Hughes's sound piece is um, cited in the foyer and also in the gentleman's toilets on the Angel Alley side of the building. Um, so it's a dynamic exhibition and I hope that people that do come to see it will maybe get a sense um, of not just the work uh, that's been made now in London but also the possibilities of ex exhibition making. It looks a little bit different to maybe some of the shows that we've had um, recently here at Whitechapel and we felt that that was important to mark it out as being um, quite different and a fresh uh, open approach to, to showing, showing the work.